Girl, he's back! Yes, honey, you know that face, that man that was on On The Shy. Girl, guess what? He's speaking of Breakfast Club, and he's denying all of that. All of that, because you know he was accused by multiple women in multiple workplaces, the shy and another group of um, him touching on women inappropriately. And he was, you know, putting them paws on her, you know, and a, you got to keep your hands to yourself, all the touching on the nipple and rubbing on the butt and just tight hugs and touching on different thighs and that's inappropriate and looking your lips and licking and trying to kiss on people necks no no you come on now you're getting carried away she said things got so bad with the harassment with him that she even brought her husband on set okay and he still would not budge and she said she complained to production and at first they didn't do nothing so she said listen I'm out of here. I'm leaving. And then after she left, it was a different other girls that was reporting that he was doing the same thing to them, girl. Yes, okay? And then on another show, he was accused of the same thing. So now he's trying to clean it up, okay? Girl, ain't this a mess? Make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Guys, up, girl? XOX. You know you love me. I love you guys too. I'm your host, Miss Gigi. Welcome, guys, to the community. Let's gossip. Now, you know what? When she came out and she spoke, a lot of people, well, they were saying there was some negative feedback. Some girls or some people was like, why did you get him fired? You, she didn't get him fired. He should have kept his hands to his damn self. Period. You don't touch anybody any type of way. You don't make anybody feel comfortable by looking at them and staring at them in a, in a sexual way. You don't do that. That's so creepy. Okay. I wouldn't want to work with a person like that either. Hello. All right. So, um, shit. And uh, let's go here. Let's go here. All right. So let's hear what he has to say. I listened to it, and you know what? To me, it sounds like a whole bunch of running around. You know, it, he wasn't really, how can I say it? He wasn't, he didn't answer no questions. It was a whole bunch of running around. And listen, I'm trying to pull it up so I can, I can have it up here for you guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Bam, bam. Okay, here we go. So, um, you guys ready? I'm about to play the clip. All right, go ahead. Say what you got to say, man. Yeah, let's, 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 let's start from the beginning. Of course, the last couple of months, there's been so many allegations. Right. Back in May. Uh, yeah. They said you were fired from the shy right. and desperados. Right. They said uh, UTA management dropped you right. as a client. So, um, what's going on? Well, let's, it was... Let's, 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 what, what happened? Because they say allegations. Can he answer and the question? heard this. Right. We was when we saw that everybody just back away like that. When everybody drops you, I'm like, okay, what right. the hell are we about to hear? Right, right, what, right. What are the actual allegations? Well, to be honest, I'm not 100 percent sure what the allegations themselves were. Mm -hmm. But I can't tell you what happened. What happened was um with Desperados, we were in pre-production and I went out with a a, a co-worker of mine and she got drunk. Mm -hmm. And you know, being the person that I am, I felt responsible, you know, to make sure she got home because Correct. they're already telling us, like, don't take the Ubers, don't trust these people, don't jump in a cab, don't do any of that, you know? Mm -hmm. So I made sure she got home. And the next day, it was, it kind of all slapped me in my face. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I'm not sure if her and her significant other had a situation because I, I did FaceTime her boyfriend to figure out, like, how to get there and you know how to you know go about getting her home. So you face some of so, my boyfriend because you wasn't doing anything with her, but you was like, bro, I need to get home. Where am I going? Exactly. I actually had a girlfriend at the time too as well. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I felt like I was doing the right thing. But um the next day, you know, they they canceled rehearsal and everything and they came to me and they were like, Jason, you know, we need to talk to he you did about this something. activity. That he ain't on. telling y'all what he did. So, you know, I told them my side of the story, but it still felt as if 
you know, I, I don't know if there was something that I missed or something yeah, that wasn't you said, but, you well, know. What activity did they say went, went on? Like, because if you just bought a home, what could possibly happen? Exactly. They weren't exactly specific with me about anything, mm -hmm. you know, oh, and I was a little shit. baffled by that, but oh, they did pay shit. me in full, you know, before I left. So I was like, you know. I didn't. So they never even told you what you were accused no, of? No, 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 hmm. they didn't. And, you know, with that being said, I just want to jump out there and say, like, you know, for anybody who's ever been around me, they know that I'm one of the most loving, sweet people in the world. But if I did do anything, mm -hmm. say anything, make anybody feel any kind of way, you have my deepest... Time's out. Hold on. Hold on. You one of the loving, sweet persons in the world? That don't mean crap. Loving, sweet people can still be out here, you know, putting caps in people. Loving, sweet people... Are found to be, you know, touching people, okay? Shit. Loving sweet my ass. Just because somebody nice and loving, does, they have different sides of them that they don't show sometimes to, boo. All right? Loving sweet my ass. All right? Let's continue. Because people always, well, they were so nice. I didn't see it coming. Okay? You know what? Uh, I ain't going to say nothing apologies like mm -hmm. honestly my deepest apologies because that was never my intention to make anybody feel any sort of way you know i've definitely never put my hands on somebody or anything like that but um i think it was just sort of a a, a series of events that led to things kind of being weird between us if that makes sense to the, to the young lady right mm -hmm. and um you know i think uh that that netflix just kind of made a executive decision to, to send me home what about with the shy? Like the, the, the situation with, with Tiffany Boone? Well, <laughs> it's crazy because there was actually no situation with Tiffany Boone. Shout oh, out to Tiffany shit. Boone, by the way, too, because she is um she was put in a position, you know, because this lady Ayanna Floyd Davis, she did come out and go to the deadline and made a statement for Tiffany Boone. Also, I guess said some things about desperados. And she had a lot to say, but she was the only person that ever made a, a statement at all. Mm -hmm. So um, I was I was a little taken back by the whole situation that happened, but the actual reason that I got let go was because that Disney saw what was going on with, with Desperados, and they just bought Showtime. Mm -hmm. So they decided not to pick up my option. And then, of course, you know, I've been on the season for... I'm, well, I've been on the show for was about to be three seasons. Mm -hmm. I was nominated for an award, so, you know, I was asking for more money and all these different sorts of things, and they just, they weren't down to do it. So did people, was there was there uh, complaints about your misconduct before they let you go? Like, well, did you have a, a record, I guess, on set? Because the first thing people that's thought it was they sexual. With, uh, with all the yeah, sexual harassment that's going on, they said Multiple he must be sexually harassing somebody at, at the workplace. Right, right. To be honest, you know, and I really hate to say this, because I'm all for the Me Too movement. I have two beautiful daughters, who I would like to be in the business, so I'm all for the... Girl, I'm tired of hearing this stuff because he never say nothing. He never say it, okay? He just skates around and just try to avoid it. He didn't come out and say, I'm not a creep like that. I don't look at women uh, in a sexual way. I don't make them feel uncomfortable. I would never do anything like that. I would never make suggestions or over flirt with the woman and make her feel uncomfortable. I mean, that's the stuff I needed to hear to to make me feel a little bit like, okay, well, maybe put some doubt in it. But um, he couldn't really even voice that because you know what he were accused of. He didn't even want to say what he was accused of, okay? So he really didn't even want to go deep. He didn't even want to have this damn conversation, really. He just want to show his face, and he wants people to buy into him being this handsome man. And just because he looked good, just like R. Kelly, he get away with a whole bunch of stuff, okay? When a man look good, they get away with anything they want to. All right? Because you always going to have women, even though you can have a man like Fabulous that slap his woman around. You're going to have so many women, oh, I want some fab. I want some. Okay? So um, it is what it is. Comment, let us, and these men out here, they going to take up for the men. They always going to take up for the bro code. That's just how they do. It don't matter. Okay? 
So comment, let us know what y'all think about this. And I will see y'all sooner than later. Bye.